out of the water contents in the earth only 20% is drinking water remaining is salt water let us now learn about drinking water teacher my parents say healthy drinking water always keeps us away from diseases that's right drinking protected water water we drink sources of water water is essential for our living people get water from tanks wells and bore wells sunk up to the ground in some villages water is got from rivers in some coastal areas sea water evaporated with the help of the hot sun desalted cooled again and is used for drinking for all these sources of water the main source is rain only excluding sea water but people do not collect rain water in pots or use it when it rains collect some rain water in a clean vessel the gases in the air and dust mix with water as it falls on the ground even so it is almost pure water because it is condensed water vapor you must have found out that the pure water has no taste but the water we get from several sources like rivers wells tanks is salty sweet or tasteless when a patient suffering from diarrhea sits for stools by the side of a drinking water tank the diarrhea germs pollute the water the germs get into the stomach of every person who drinks the contaminated water all these persons get the disease health workers mix bleaching powder in the drinking water in order to kill the germs as otherwise all the persons who drink the contaminated water will become bedridden sometimes the germs get into the drinking water wells through contaminated vessels dipped in the wells like diarrhea dysentery and cholera also spread through contaminated drinking water so drinking water has to be purified if we want to save people from diseases protected drinking water rain is the basis for all sources of water even though it is pure when it forms into rivers and flows many impurities mix with it disease germs also enters the water the soil particles sand and salt in the ground mix with the flowing water when the rain water sinks into the ground the soluble substances get dissolved in it when we sink a bore and pump the water out the salt dissolves in it still remains water containing these substances that is soil particles debris and disease germs is called polluted water water from which the pollutants are removed and is made safe for the people to drink it is called protected water supply scheme this scheme is in vogue in all towns and in many villages why do we say some water is impure in order to know more about water let's go to the lesson impurities in water in order to supply clean drinking water we have to remove the impurities in the water qualities of water samples from the different sources we can find mud debris of leaves mosquito larva or harmful germs in tap water or bore well water tap water may smell of chlorine tap water does not contain mud particles there may be mud particles in tank water and river water debris of leaves and mosquito larva are found in the water 
from open wells, tanks and rivers. Bore pump water is without impurities to a large extent. The salts in the ground in which the bore is dug dissolve in the water and give it a salty or sweet taste. Boiled water When epidemic like cholera and diarrhea are prevalent, health workers advise us to drink boiled and cooled water. We know that open well water contains remnants of leaves, mosquito lava and eggs and harmful germs. Boil open well water on the stove. Harmful germs, mosquito lava and eggs of insects are all killed when the water is boiled. So, health workers advise us to drink boiled and cooled water as harmful germs are no longer alive. Taste the water that is boiled and cooled. It may be tasteless. But, as the impurities have been removed, you can drink it without hesitation. So, we can make water safe for drinking by boiling it. Important Points Taps, tanks, open bore wells and rivers are the sources of drinking water for man. Rain is the basis for all water sources. Water becomes polluted when remnants of leaves, mud, insect, lava and disease germs get into the water. The scheme for removing impurities from water and supplying safe drinking water to people is called Protected Water Supply Scheme. The water we drink may contain remnants of leaves, eggs and lava of insects and harmful germs as impurities. Tank and river water is muddy due to the presence of mud articles in it. Tap water is the safest. By boiling the water, we can kill insect and harmful germs present in it. Purification of water We know that water contains many impurities. We have seen that water and open well water being filtered through a cloth in villages to remove impurities. Add some salt to the tank water before filtering it. Taste the filtered water. It tastes salty. From this, we infer that we cannot remove the harmful germs by filtration. Why? Water filter There are two stainless steel cylinders in it, one over above the other. The water poured in the upper cylinder gets filtered and descends into the lower cylinder. We can collect purified water from the tap fixed to the lower cylinder. Open the lid of the upper cylinder and look at the part inside. We can find sticks made of the proselyte clay fixed to the bottom of the cylinder. They are called filter candles. The proselyte candle has many pores in it. As the water poured in the upper cylinder passes through the pores of the candle, the undissolved impurities and harmful germs are obstructed. Only pure water descends into the lower cylinder. This is safe for drinking. Methods of Purifying Water By decantation, we can remove only insoluble substances like soil and sand. We can quicken decantation by sprinkling alum powder on muddy water. By means of boiling and mixing bleaching powder, we can kill disease causing germs. In the protected water supply scheme of towns and villages, all these processes of purifying water are followed. Collection of water. A good source of water like a canal river or tank is selected.
powerful pumps are installed in the bed of river to pump the water into a mixing tank. Here, alum is mixed with the water to speed up decantation. To prevent fishes, frogs and other water animals from entering the water stream, the mouth of the sucking tubes are covered with sieves. Decantation From the mixing tank, the water gets into the settling tank where it is kept still. Insoluble impurities like mud particles and sand settle down to the bottom of the settling tank. Filtration Water free from undissolved impurities enter the filter bed or filtration tank. This tank has gravel or fine sand layers at the bottom. As the water passes through these layers, it is filtered well. Microorganisms get attached to the sand particles and remains there. The filtered water descends through slits in the floor of the filter beds into the chlorination tank. Chlorination The water that gets into the chlorination tank is pure to a large extent. Scientists examine it with microscopes to find if any microorganisms are still present. They mix bleaching powder in the required doses to the water. This is called chlorination as the chlorine present in the bleaching powder kills all the diseases, germs in the water. Pumping The water is now fully protected and safe for drinking. It is pumped into overhead tanks built on tall pillars. From the tank, the water is supplied to all the areas in the town through mains and from them to taps in every houses. Important Points Insoluble impurities can be removed from water by means of filtration. Water is filtered by a filter candle made of porcelain clay in the water filter. Decantation, filtration and chlorination are the main stages in protected water supply scheme. Water pollution In the source of drinking water like the tank, river or canal, we can find people bathing in it. Some persons wash cattle on the banks of tanks. Dirty clothes are also washed there. Some people use the banks of river for urination and stools. When there is rain, these substances are washed into the tank or stream. This way, the drinking water gets polluted. Mosquitoes and other insects and microorganisms thrive in such water. Drainage Water We use water in the house for bathing and washing. The waste water is let into drains and sewage canals. The drains and sewage canals take the drainage water to rivers nearby from which we obtain drinking water. The water in the river gets polluted in this way. Industrial Waste Water Many chemicals are produced as waste materials in industries. The chemicals and used up water from industries are let out into canals and rivers through large drains. Some of the chemicals sink into the soil and pollute the ground water. Fresh water will not be available for people. The chemicals give out poisonous gases and also a bad smell. The atmosphere gets polluted with these gases and there will be no fresh air to breathe. The polluted water is not fit for drinking or for bathing or washing clothes. It is harmful to cattle. Bathing, washing, dirty clothes and cattle, decaying leaves 
and other organic materials that have fallen into sources. Industrial waste getting into tanks, canals, rivers and wells. The water in all these sources gets polluted with the sinking of industrial chemicals in the soil. As the water contains these impurities, it is polluted water. The entry of harmful substances into water is called water pollution. Water pollution causes diseases if spread. Plants are destroyed and cattle are killed. Important points. Drinking water gets polluted on account of the impurities getting into water sources. Drainage water, decaying organic matter and industrial waste cause water pollution. The health of the public is harmed by water pollution.